Hey everybody, Travis here coming to you from my couch in the apartment and I want to give you the top five lots in our August 27th Antiques of Fine Art Estate auction. Now the auction is going to be Thursday night, 6 p.m. Make sure to check out the catalog, bidlive.brunoandco.com. Make sure to leave absentee phone bids. We want people to bid safely from home as much as possible, but we do have preview and select bid seating by appointment only. So if do or die, if you have to check out the auction, make sure to give us a ring at the gallery. If not, check out the catalog, bidlive.brunoandco.com. So, top five lots of the auction, what do we got? Lot number 14 on the Margot Hoff mixed media painting of football or soccer players. Now, Margot Hoff, female modernist, and a lot of people are more familiar with her work that's post-1960, once she left Chicago and moved to New York. She had these really vibrant abstracts, really powerful modern images. Well, in the 30s and 40s, when she was living in Chicago, she actually focused on urbanism. Her uh, color palette was much more muted using earth tones, and her work was primarily figurative, all influenced by Mexican muralism, uh, Rufino Tamayo, Diego Riviera. And this work can actually be pinpointed right to the year 1939 when she traveled to Yugoslavia with her husband, George Burr, who's a fellow artist. So really cool painting right there, lot number 14 on the Margot Hoff. Lot number nine, really cool painting. We don't know the artist, but it is an unbelievable American illustration painting. So just like from the, uh, the likes of a Norman Rockwell or a Stephen Dohanos, I mean, atypical 1950s American illustration. We don't know the artist, but it came out of a Greenwich, Connecticut estate. Who knows if it's a published image, but that quality of it is absolutely spectacular. You have to check out that illustration painting. Lot number 15, for all those classical fans out there, we have a Johann Hansberg, an old master's oil on canvas. Has two gentlemen in the scene preparing to cover an elderly man with a blanket. Younger boy with his dog standing by within a landscape. Really nice, iconic old master's painting. Kind of cool subject matter with a dog. I know old master's not the hottest thing going, but it's a great looking painting. You gotta check it out. Lot number 161 on the Gaetano Scolari Modernist Cubist, I guess you could call it, chandelier. Very cool piece of interior design. Bright chrome would make a great piece for anybody's house. My last favorite highlight of the auction, lot number 308 on a Japanese gilt great Buddha. Now the castings on this Buddha are phenomenal. It's not primarily or not necessarily two, three hundred years old. It may only be a hundred years old, but the point is the casting quality, the gilt finish, Great quality Buddha. You definitely want to check it out if you're an Asian arts fan. So don't forget Antiques of Fine Art Thursday night auction on August 27th. Action starts at 6 p.m. And make sure to check out the catalog at bidlive.brunoco.com. Thank you. That's B-R-U-N-E-A-U.